We're turning up the heat again, this time with a Tardo Smart Radiator Thermostat. Okay, so we looked at the, the Tardo Smart Thermostats in a previous video, and I mentioned that I was waiting to get hold of their new Smart Radiator Thermostat, and here it is. Um, so, hopefully it's kind of pretty obvious, this replaces the, the radiator thermostat on your current radiator. In a, I guess, an optimal and ideal solution, you're going to have these on every single radiator uh, in your house to be able to provide, you know, a more uh, connected uh, system. Right now, we're just going to try this on uh, one radiator in my house, a particular room that uh, tends to be colder than others. Um, so I'm hoping that this will help. Um, you know, regulate the heat better in there. Obviously, the way the heat, you know, general heating systems work, I'm going to be limited somewhat by the TRVs on the other radiators, but hoping we can get some consistency uh, here, and it's just not going to have the heating running all the time. So, do a follow-up video, see how um, things are working in the future. So, uh, obviously, we do a, a quick unboxing, um, try and show um, some of the installation. Um, where it's possible it's just replacing a radiator valve, so not that interesting. Uh, and then talk briefly about you know, how is it working after the, the first few minutes. So, a few things of note. So these things, uh, like all smart things as usual, not super cheap, but not super expensive either. So £60. Um, so obviously it is an investment. If you're going to do your whole house, it's probably going to cost you a £1,000 or something. Um, they come in uh, horizontal and vertical um, mounting modes. This is a horizontal one. Shouldn't need any tools um, to fit this. So basically, you're going to take off your existing uh, TRV radiator valve, put this on. Comes with three different types of adapters um, that you can use to make sure you get the right fitment. Uh, has two AA batteries installed. Has an LED um, display. Uh, on the unit, so you, you know, it shows whether someone's home, away, whatever mode it's in, uh, and the temperature that's been set. Um, as like other Tardo products, comes with two-year warranty, uh, thirty-day money-back guarantee, and their same promise of uh, if it doesn't pay for itself uh, in the first year, you can return it at uh, you know, get a refund. <coughs> so, please excuse the cough, just getting over the, the man flu. Boxing, you know, looks really nice, really good. Um, let me open it up. There's not too much to show in the box. So we have the the valve itself, uh, and then little uh, spanner icon there has the adapters uh, behind it. So let's just look at the adapters first. I'm going to come back uh, to the valve itself. Okay. So we have uh, the technical specifications uh, booklet in there. Not so interested in that right now. And then we have these uh, three adapters that's basically going to enable us to fit this effectively uh, on our radiator. So we'll see what one of those um, we need if we need to adjust things when we come to install. So in terms of the product itself, so all these products are very Apple-esque now, aren't they? Um, but we take this off and we can see nice finish at uh, the top is a turnable top you can hear some slack kicking so obviously as you're adjusting uh, the setting if you're doing it manually as opposed to um, through the app or using the Amazon Echo um, you're going to see that happen here there is an indicator uh, on the inside so you know you're positioning it in the right way so obviously the screen is going to be uh, visible to you um, the little hole there uh, for temp um, uh, detecting the temperature uh, and then we have a QR code and the relevant codes to add this um, into our kind of Tardo smart home system. So length wise it's uh, 76 millimeters across the top diameter of 52 millimeters so relatively compact um, so either the same if not a little bit smaller than existing um, TRVs. So if we just pull out 
the piece of paper there for the battery. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, it has started to light up. It says hi. That's uh, requesting installation to happen. Um, so what we'll do, we will stop the video here. We will quickly do some installation, um, add it into our smart hub. Uh, as I mentioned before uh, in the last video, I had to make various phone calls to get things set up. Um, I'm hoping that that has improved. So, um, with a couple of clicks, uh, we'll be back to talk about the installation and how this is working uh, in the short test time we've had. Okay, so we're back. Um, so over here, I'll insert a couple of um, images of the, the Tardo app on the phone as we go through the install, as well as a, a couple of videos, um, just to give you some idea uh, of, of what the process is. So in general, pretty good, pretty simple. Um, so taking off the existing um, TRV or thermostatic radiator valve uh, is really easy. Um, so typically these shouldn't be over tightened, so it should be hand tight. You can just take it off, if not you just need to uh, get some grips and take it off. Uh, and then really simply you take uh, the bottom uh, of the, the Tardo valve uh, and place it on. As I mentioned before, it comes with uh, three adapters. I didn't need any adapters, so just the standard fitting goes on. Uh, and you'll notice uh, on there, there's a little arrow that says top. You want that to face kind of forwards or to where you want the LED display to be so you can see it. I noticed kind of slightly off center uh, was best. Obviously you, you can tweak it. So you pop this on, tighten it up, and then push, or basically just drop and twist the actual um, valve and sensor on as you go through um, the steps in the app. It's very clear and there's some, also some help pages if you want to you know, ask some questions or get some clarification about how you remove things and how you install things. Then what happens is um, it detects basically that you've mounted it. Now apparently there's some sensors or, or at least a pin or something inside the housing here that detects and it's been installed. Um, one thing that I'm not sure if I mentioned before, these things um, run on batteries, so two AA batteries. It comes with that. They're very uh, easy to open uh, and replace. Just uh, pop those out. Uh, and it comes with industrial Duracell batteries as standard, so they should uh, last you a little while. Um, so you pop this on, turn it, and then it basically goes into a calibration mode. So you can hear the motor um, that adjusts the pin in the, the smart radiator valve going in and out. And this is obviously to adjust the pin in the radiator valve, which restricts um, the flow of water into the radiator to obviously help with um, temperature modulation. So it will do this um, for around a minute. Uh, to basically understand where the kind of different endpoints are, so what's all the way in, what's all the way out, get the midpoint, etc., so it can be uh, more effective um, when it's kind of managing uh, the heating or, or the cooling, depending on how you look at it, um, of that radiator. So, so far, so good. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, then I had some problems. Um, so, unfortunately, it appears um, that my device is faulty. Um, so pro the problem I had, uh, it took a couple of goes to detect that it had been mounted uh, and then it spent like six, seven minutes calibrating and then it came up with an error message saying having trouble calibrating, unmount, remount, plug it on, turn it on um, and then calibration issues again. So I could hear the motor moving in and out so the pin was definitely moving, not quite sure well, uh, I guess the motor was definitely moving, of course. I have no idea uh, if the pin was moving. Um, tried to basically re-add um, and reinstall the device. Not having any luck, so I've called the, the support people. Um, they obviously were relatively helpful in, in terms of trying to do some troubleshooting, but they basically just said they think the device is broken, so they will ship me out another one. So, we will stop here. And we will resume this video 
uh, on the next day or days um, when I get this replaced. I'll, I'll mention that in the video as well. And yeah, then I'll finish off with how well it works. So obviously, always disappointing when things um, don't work, but these things happen, especially with technology stuff. So I'm not that upset. Um, I wish I'd had the time to try and install it earlier because I've had this sat on the side for a couple of weeks. Um, and we could have got it replaced sooner. But yep. Um, so yes, we're now switched to however long in the future this thing finally installed and see how it works in practice. Okay, so it's been less than 24 hours. I have a replacement. Amazing. So it's always annoying when something doesn't work. Um, but I always say what's more important is how does the problem get rectified. So Tardo got me one of these out from Germany and the 24 hours it was in my hands. Installing it was really super simple. Uh, I actually just plugged it in and it calibrated literally in like 10 seconds and it was done, it was up and running. So adding this into your existing system is really easy. So basically you either create a brand new zone, um, which is what I've done. You do have to make a phone call to get that set up, unfortunately. Um, so a new zone gets created and you assign the firmware set to that. Or you can extend uh, a current zone that you have to have that as another measuring device and you can choose if you want um, a particular thermostat to do the measuring. So yeah, it, you know, annoying that things didn't work, but really impressive that they got one out so quickly. Um, I, I'm just amazed. So um, after running with it now for a few days, uh, it seems to work really well. What's interesting is the temperature in that room is actually higher than I expected. So there's obviously a draft um, somewhere, uh, but I am seeing a slight improvement in terms of how um, hot that, that zone that I'm interested in is lasting or um, you know, the difference in heat. So I think it's worth it. Um, time will tell as we move along um, if I'm going to get more of these uh, to improve the coverage around the house. Um, just a note um, on these in terms of the issue I had, it would appear from um, Tardo said that there was a manufacturing uh, issue with one of the original batches. Perhaps I've obviously got one of those and that's why Instead of trying to troubleshoot it, they've literally just um, replaced it if people have an issue. So that's uh, good to be aware of. So that's it, the Tardo Smart Radiator Thermostat. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.